Almost without exception, you'll see heavy panting in the after fixed shot. Heavy panting like that is often a sign of psychological distress. Tails in between legs, ears pinned back, avoiding eye contact with the handler, trying to get away from him, looking back to their primary guardian for assistance. These are all signs that this is not the approach. Did you get the dog to stop the behavior in the moment? Sure, but you haven't addressed the underlying issue. It's a false argument to say that, well, this works quickly and this is a desperate situation because you haven't fixed anything. And what we have here is someone who has assured themselves that they have an education in dog behavior. However, he's not produced any credentials or any indication that he has the knowledge to be giving this advice to the public and none is required to his benefit. He doesn't have to, that's where our laws are. That's kind of why there's a big uproar right now. This uproar towards dog daddy is centering from mainly the dog behavior community because we have particular knowledge of how those methods affect dogs long-term because we deal with those dogs. Elected representatives don't necessarily understand that. And so the louder our voice gets to make this concept known to the public, the more likely it is that we can do things like get licensure for dog training. Dog trainers should be, it should be a licensed profession. You're working with animals. Those animals can bite, they can kill other animals, they can harm other people. Incredible responsibility of your advice, giving it to the public. Is, so getting is, to the underlying cause argument, we've said this a million times, one of the mm -hmm. biggest things that frustrates me about it is it assumes that so he said, you know, he used fear as an example, yeah. right? He's like, it doesn't get to the underlying cause of the dog is just scared. That's why they're acting aggressively. So what you're saying is that it's okay that if a dog is scared that they can attack somebody. Or if they're scared, they could attack or what he just said here, kill another dog mm -hmm. because they're scared. That ain't real life, buddy. <sighs> no. That ain't real life. If these dogs are going to stay alive, it doesn't matter if they're scared or not. Or not. They can't do no. that. Yeah. And guess what? I don't have to not be scared to attack my neighbor yeah. or not be scared to not go rob a bank or not be scared to do A, B, C, or D. We as humans are able to comprehend, even though I'm scared right now, my behavior has limits because there's consequences for those types of things. It's just real life. Mm -hmm. It's not rocket science. Nope. It's not sciencey, crazy, fancy schmancy like he's making it out to be. Mm -hmm. It's okay to say, just because you're anxious right now or just because you're scared right now, you cannot act in a dangerous way. Yeah. Because if dogs can't learn that skill, you're always going to be at the mercy of, I really hope my dog doesn't get scared right now and that I've successfully built a positive association with this thing because if I don't, and if my dog does get scared, he's going to seriously hurt somebody or he's going to seriously hurt another dog, Yep. which you're just always going into every situation, fingers crossed. <laughs> yeah. What kind of life is that? Like at that point, Terrible. you got to just put the dogs down. I mean, that's, yep. not, that's not safe. That is less safe mm -hmm. than saying we've successfully taught a boundary regardless of the dog's emotional state of mind. And we're going to work to try to shift the emotional state of mind. Mm -hmm. But regardless of how far that gets, they still can't act aggressively or dangerously. Exactly. Required there. You've seen some disturbing videos that I posted of Augusto. We've got video of him putting dogs in crates, poking them with sticks. We have him uh, yanking and cranking dogs to teach them come when called. He's not the only one that trains this way. I don't want to make that point. My now, sense is that both of those videos he just showed, the first one, he didn't poke the dog with the stick. No. The, the, dog, the stick never touched the dog. The dog touched the stick. Mm -hmm. And in the second video, the dog was yanking and cranking away from him, just holding the leash. Yep. 30% of dog trainers actually train this way. However, he has a big audience and he's promoting these methods and so they're growing, which is why he is uh, the person we're focusing on right now. This is my beautiful wife, Bree. Mwah. She's our partner, she's been amazing. This is Veronica. In psychology, we accept currently, the, when I say we, I'm talking about the broader behavior scientific community, that all animals are governed by the same laws of learning. There's not a different set of learning laws for dogs than there are for people or birds or insects. They literally are all governed by the same rules of behavior. We have found that reinforcement, that management, that de-escalating problematic situations has yielded exponentially better results. And the, the former is 
problematic for the reasons that I've, I've listed earlier. He was talking about as far as punishing being reinforced to you, the person. So because you're another animal who's also learning. That was the point of me pointing out learning laws are applying to us. Yes. Just like all the other species. That's true. The methods implemented by Augusto de Oliveira, known as the dog daddy, what he's doing is not difficult. It's very easy to swing a dog around by the neck. It's generally dog trainers look at dog training in a, one of a couple of ways, either a dog-centered or a human-centered way. We tend to really focus the dog's emotional well-being so that they're a well-adjusted family mem member and not just view them as some subservient being that needs to do everything we say and shouldn't do anything we don't say. We want dogs to feel free to express natural instincts to do things that come natural to them in a healthy, safe way. For instance, we don't want to suppress dogs sniffing. This is something that's vital to them. We don't want to suppress their exercise. We want to make sure that they have that natural outlet. Uh, we don't want to suppress their curiosity to such a point that they shut down. We want to give them healthy outlets in order to express those things. I think all of you, especially Augusto's fans, will understand if you have a dog that you want the best for them. I know you love your dog. You're willing to pay someone $400 for a training session to help your dog. You definitely need to go someone who's qualified. This isn't meant to insult him. And I, I think I'm factual when I say this. True professionals in dog behavior, when they look at what Dog Daddy is doing, they view him as a act. And I'm not saying this to be disrespectful, but it's, it's like, look at this magic trick. Oh, see this big fierce dog? Let me shut it down by yanking and cranking. Look how amazing I am. I just hope that we can uh, help, yeah. help teach people about that there's a, a better way, a literally better way. <laughs> I'm so sick of hearing that we just want to be able to teach people there's a better way. Show it. Yeah, I just guys like I it's like it's beating your head against the fucking wall, right? Every time they say that this problem can be you got all the addresses of where this fucking dude is. So go show up as a whoever you think is the person that has the better way. Go show up at the seminar and I can guarantee you because Zach George has offered to pay, I think, $10,000 or $15,000 to Zach George to show up at one of his seminars and work with one of the dogs. Mm hmm. You could go there and show them, and damn, man, if you fucking showed up at one of those seminars as Zach George, the fucking aggressive dog rehabilitator, right, and you went there and you fucking worked your magic, and boom, man, dog's just as good as this, never had to touch a fucking leash, anything like that, you would be the fucking man. <laughs> Seriously, yeah. right? Like, if you just showed up there and you fucking work your magic, boom, 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 right? You would be the man. Yeah. You would be the fucking man. Yeah. Imagine him, like, this dog, you know, Bro, for example. This giant Akita, yeah, right? Yeah, giant Akita. Wrapping around you, trying to fucking bite your leg and shit. Yeah. Show us you fucking <laughs> yeah. handling this dog. Yeah. Let's Come see on. That, let's see that positive let's only. <laughs> see it, right? And And again, like, I've said it a million times. You'd monopolize this shit. Every one of his fucking followers that are at that thing would be like, well, shit, I don't want a gusto to fucking, you know, correct my dog and get all firm with them. If yeah. I just watched what this guy did. Yeah. But instead, you got to tear down the tallest building. You said Augusto is the biggest guy in the game right now. So since we don't like his methods, we need to destroy him so people stop seeing it and, and accidentally see his results as, as good. And so, so they don't accidentally have their dog helped and saved for the rest of their life. Yeah. So they're not tricked into the next seven years that they live with their dog, yeah. you know, living with this really well-behaved dog. But really, really, it, it didn't work. But yeah. they were tricked into thinking it worked. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, come yeah. on. <laughs> so well, stupid. Yeah. And it's like, yeah. The <laughs> it's actually, it's it's like, it's la it's laughable, actually, when you break it down in yeah. these ways. Yeah. Well, and, and like everything I've ever seen that we've watched of Zach George, it's always like, like, the, yeah, a puppy or a beagle or like some mini something. I've never seen him work with in, anything like these kind of dogs. Bro, and I don't even care how Zach George trains. I really don't. Yeah. It's just like, you're just like, the stuff, you're, fo like, focus on your training. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, you train dogs. 